The EU may be upping the tension in the fight over AstraZeneca vaccine supplies, but little mention has been made of the developer the bloc gave £70 million to last year. European Council President, Charles Michel, warned EU leaders that the bloc should consider legal action and even blocking exports if it does not receive enough vaccine doses from AstraZeneca soon. The AstraZeneca vaccine, developed by the University of Oxford, has encountered manufacturing delays in its European plants and subsequently announced that it will have to cut the number of jabs delivered to the EU's 27 nations before the end of March. Rather than the 80 million doses promised, only 31 million will be delivered, due to the production issues, a dilemma which has resulted in Brussels accusing the suppliers of a contract breach. The UK's vaccine supply has subsequently come under fire, too. EU officials have suggested Britain should offer up some of its share of the jabs produced in AstraZeneca's UK plants. However, this has infuriated Britons, especially as the UK reached a deal with the pharmaceutical giant three months before the EU, and so Downing Street has refused to bend to the bloc's demands. A leading MEP has also suggested an export ban could be employed on the UK to prevent distribution, despite admitting, nobody wants a vaccination war. The BBC's Europe editor Katya Adler lashed out at the bloc on Twitter over the vaccine supply row, writing, while people everywhere suffer plus die from COVID the vaccine dispute between governments with pharmaceutical companies is getting uglier and exposing hypocrisy. The EU lectured the world about vaccines for all, and now is considering an export ban. She was referring to EU Commission President Ursula von der Leyen's speech from March 2020, where she announced that the bloc was giving £70 million in financial support to CureVac to develop a vaccine program. Discussing this German manufacturer at the start of the pandemic, Ms. von der Leyen said, their home is here. But their vaccines will benefit everyone, in Europe and beyond. However, CureVac appears to have dropped off the EU's radar in recent months, as its focus turned to AstraZeneca. CureVac already had the financial backing of Bill and Melinda Gates, and its parent company CEPI received £3.6 million, .6 million pounds, from Norway and £20 million, £14.6 million, pounds, from the UK. At one point, it was even speculated that former U.S. President Donald Trump wanted to acquire the pharmaceutical giant, but its developers argued that it was not for sale. CureVac was thought to be considering a partnership with Elon Musk's tech company, Tesla, last year, too, to help accelerate the development and production of COVID-19 vaccines. Mr. Musk helped build the RNA microfactories for the pharmaceutical giant.